Welcome back to our series on sailboat parts and today it's time to dive deeper into the hull and the different parts of the hull. So if you don't know what this part is but you like to find out, stay tuned this video is exactly for you and we're gonna dive right in. So as I've said this video is part of a larger series and if you haven't checked out the overview, the first video of the series, click in the cards up here. I really recommend you checking that one out first. It gives a complete overview of the most important segments and sailboat parts. But to quickly recap, a sailboat consists of four main categories, which are the hull, which is in blue, the mast, which is in red, the sails in green, and the rigging, which is displayed here in orange so now we're up to speed i'd like to dive in immediately into the hull and the different parts of the hull so i got this nifty little diagram here and i'm just gonna walk you through each of the different hull parts but first let's quickly go over what the hull actually is most people would say that the hull is the heart of the boat it carries everything the mast the sails the rigging even the passengers without the hull there wouldn't be a boat yeah we could say that i guess so most sailboats use displacement hulls and displacement hulls are a hull type that um, they use buoyancy so they float they're very very buoyant they have really good floating characteristics they push aside the water whilst moving and if you want to learn more about boat hull types i actually did a complete overview video uh, explaining the different hull types out there in depth which is a great starting point for beginners so the hull is in a way the most important part of the boat and let's start with a, an underview of the hull i got this cool three 3d model for this uh, video so i just wanted to give you some quick orientation so the front of the hull is called the bow and the back is called aft or the stern and then we have the left and right side and as with anything in nautical terms it's a, made a bit more complicated so the left side is called port and the right side is called starboard and in dutch it's called stuurboord and it's my guess that the English, they just copied the Dutch as always. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, on the other side, we also see uh, this fin, which is called the Kegel. And not everybody, not all sailboats use a keel, but most offshore sailboats do. And um, it, it's used to stabilize the boat. Um, Displacement hulls are very round and very smooth. You could think of it as a, a canoe. Canoes use displacement hulls as well, making them very efficient and very, it's a very smooth ride, but they're very easy to capsize. And you don't want that on your sailboat. So they thought of the keel. And the keel offsets this tendency to capsize. So it provides counterbalance. Uh, the keel typically has some sort of ballast in the tip. So it's a counterweight to the wind's forces on the sail. So moving on to um, a top overview uh, of the 3D model here, we can go over this very quickly. So we got the deck, the cabin and the cockpit. And the deck is just the top part of the hull. It's like the, let's call it the lid. <laughs> yeah, that's the lid. It's, let's just stick with that. And it's the part you walk on, right? And it's the part that carries everything. Uh, like the deck hardware and, the, and, and a lot of the rigging is attached to the deck. The cabin is what's below the deck and it's the sealed off the sheltered part of the boat like the belly and then we have the cockpit which is simply the place you go to drive the boat like this is where all the the steering and navigation devices are and where all the sheets end uh, or run to uh, where you can operate the boat 
All right, let's move to an aft view, like a back rear view of the hull. And um, straight off, I wanted to point out two important lines, so to speak. So that is the water line, and the water line is just the point where the boat or the hull touches the water when it's when the ballast is just right, when the ballast is uh, typical. And most sailors, they even paint the waterline on the hole. And there's two, well, there, there's two reasons for this. One, it gives you a visual clue as to whether the, the boat is well balanced. So that it's not over, ba the ballast is not too high or too low. So you can just quickly tell whether the boat is lying in the water right. And also most sailors use some sort of anti-fouling paint beneath the waterline, which helps to uh, reduce or prevent marine, marine growth like, like algae and stuff, uh, which is a pain to clean. So this creates a like a natural waterline, so to speak. So then it's, it's a small fee to just paint the waterline. And the second line or part is the bilge. And this is like the side part where the bottom part of the hull meets the side part of the hull. So like the ver vertical part of the hull uh, transitions into the horizontal part, the carrying part of the hull. And this is called the bilge. And with sailboats, because they're displacement hulls, they are typically very rounded. So when you look at a powerboat, for example, you see that the bilge is pretty square. It's a pretty straight angle and uh, no such hard angles on sailboats. All right, the rear plate of the hull, let's say it's the most aft plate, it's called the transom. So it's just, it's a bit of the, the, the sailboat's butt. <laughs> <laughs> and attached to the transom, you'll find uh, mostly if you have an outboard, there's the outboard motor, but also the rudder and, and rudders in this case. And the rudders are used to steer the boat. And you'll also see in this picture the helm. And the helm is just a, a posh word, a, a marine word for wheel. And the wheel is attached to the rudders and uh, is used to steer the boat. Also, if you don't have a helm, like a wheel, um, some boats, like smaller sailboats, use a tiller or, or a, rudder, a rudder stick. And this is just a steering stick. So those were the most important hull parts I could think of. If you think I missed anything or have any remarks or requests, leave them in the comments down below. I'm always eager to find out what you guys think. Uh, and I'm always eager to learn more from you guys. And next up in this series is the rigging. And that's another cool video. Did you know there are two types of rigging? There's like a segmentation, like a differentiation between the two rigging types. So to learn more about the rigging, click on the video on the screen.